Pawn Stars has shed light on the pawn store industry more than any other show. There are a lot of different ways to pawn things off, but these guys made a business out of it. The show, which first aired in July of 2009, has not only hooked people across the nation, but has spawned spin-offs in the UK and Australia. The show follows Rick Harrison, Big Hoss Harrison, Austin Chumley Russell, and the late old man Harrison. But there have also been some members who have gone through the shop, some of whom are now more remembered than the others. Olivia Black would be one of those members, although she has joined the show pretty late in its fifth season. My name is Olivia Black and I work the night shift at the Golden Silver Pond. Don't screw it up. I've got this. The attractive woman came in as one of the workers of the night shift. Her addition to the reality program was a breath of fresh air since most of the cast members of the show were mainly male. Recently we hired a new employee for the night shift. Chum has volunteered to train her, which is funny because Chum never volunteers for anything. These double shifts have to be killing him. Under the guidance of Chumley, Olivia quickly won the hearts of fans and became the other breakout star of the show after Chumley himself. Fans that love the show will definitely mention Olivia Black as one of their favorite Pawn Stars cast. As she admitted, the gig wasn't exactly a dream of hers. In fact, she didn't even realize she'd appear on TV. Despite the surprise, she soon became a key figure on the show, as fans of the History Channel's hit series watched the heavily tattooed beauty learn the ins and outs of the pawn shop trade. Unfortunately, things for Olivia ended just as quickly as they started, as she was featured in only one season and fired. So so let's see why exactly Rick decided to fire Olivia and how getting fired affected her. She was brought in to work the night shift at the shop, and Chumley fell for her in an instant. They look kind of vintage, you should try them on. They look your style. Maybe they're your prescription too. Now oh. I feel extra classy. You look good. Very <laughs> Marilyn Monroe. Thank you. However, the decision to hire Olivia turned out to be a bit of a nightmare for execs at the History Channel, when they discovered that she had posed nude for a series of X-rated photos for an adult lifestyle brand called Suicide Girls, featuring lots of photos of pinup models. When the photos came to light, History pulled the plug on her appearance on the show, which the shop and series took some flack over. Despite its name, Pawn Stars is designed to be a family program and unfortunately, Olivia's off-screen lifestyle affected the History Channel's brand. Black confirmed her termination on Facebook, writing, Nay, sadly, this is not a joke. I no longer work for Gold and Silver Pawn Shop. It has been a whirlwind of a year and now I must move on. Just as simple as downsizing. It is of no fault of the guys. I still adore my bosses fully. All the guys have been really great and I can tell the family camaraderie that they have here and I kind of just feel really fortunate to be a part of that. She may not have left Pawn Stars on great terms, but Olivia Black holds zero resentments against her former colleagues. Mostly I just look at shoes and other stuff on the computer and just wait for someone to come up. I online shop all day. You'll be good at the night nice shift then. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, she raved about them during a 2013 Reddit AMA, gushing that they were all super sweet. She called Rick Harrison an extremely intelligent man and said that the old man was full of wisdom when he's not napping. As Harrison told Fox News, the cast didn't have a problem with Black's past, adding that he actually wasn't the one who had fired her. None of her co-workers cared it seems, they were just fine with it since her life was her own. Rightfully so, and nothing she did in the industry was disturbing her time at their shop. The producers, however, seemed to think that it was perhaps immoral or unethical to have a woman that had been in adult films. So, even though she wasn't permitted to film the show anymore, Rick didn't actually fire her. He said she could keep working at Gold and Silver Pawn Shop at times when operations weren't being filmed. Nevertheless, she left the pawn shop a few months later. Following the incident in which Black was fired from Pawn Stars, she reportedly returned to her modeling career with Suicide Girls, as she revealed in a candid YouTube video in 2017, which she shot with partner Maria Plaza. She began her career as an exotic dancer and model around 2004. She also worked as a pole dancing instructor and had several other sexy gigs, so after her stint on TV fell through, it was only logical that she'd make a return to her roots. She started modeling for Suicide Girls 
videos again, as well as go-go dancing, but it was cam girl work that was taking up most of her time. Then she met her partner and agreed to something she had never done before. Although Maria was and still is a professional chef, it was actually her suggestion for Black to take her racy career up a notch. Explaining the transition on YouTube, Olivia said that Maria had expressed that she liked the idea of actually making adult scenes and that was something that she thought about for a long time but was never really comfortable with, so she never pursued it. These days, they're regularly creating adult content together from photos to videos and enticing fans to pay for it. Well, being a people person is what being a pawnbroker is all about. Tell me a joke. Would you like to hear a dirty joke? Any joke. A pig fell in the mud. <laughs> I don't get it. Though when Olivia was let go from Pawn Stars and sent on her way, she didn't harbor any ill will towards the crew she worked with, she was about to file a lawsuit against the producers of the show for wrongful termination. She stated that a lot of people had advised her of the fact and informed her that it was possibly a form of discrimination and that she needed to follow through with that idea and figure that out. Opening up about the unfairness of her dismissal, she proclaimed she thought it was very hypocritical that a female that had any nude photos or anything of that nature that she'd willingly done and participated in all of those, she was looked at as being negative and it was looked at as porn or anything like that. The downside of this, however, is that for all the loopholes that exist for actors and talent, there seem to be more for producers when it comes to who they can hire and fire and what reasons they can use. A few months after her dismissal, Olivia started trying to get back on the show. According to her agent then, she missed fans just as they missed her. So she started a campaign titled Change.org Petition as a way of getting herself back on the show. She dubbed it a fight against social norms on beauty. Olivia's petition used stats alleging that 36% of young women have posted nude or semi-nude pictures of themselves on the internet. She also explained that the suicide girls are not adult entertainers but rather a collection of punk rock pinups, tattooed and sexy women who push the boundaries of beauty with fierce confidence in order to defy convention. Speaking about the petition's goal with Fox News, she declared she wanted to show that America didn't mind that she was confident and naked. Not many people seemed to be interested as she only got slightly over 5,000 votes. You would have expected more for a celebrity like her. The more she hangs out with Chum Lee, the more she acts just like him. Careful with that, Olivia. If you break it, you buy the damn thing. By 2017, it was estimated that Olivia was worth $800,000. This total came about as a result of the accumulation of cash from her modeling career and the time she worked for a reality show in 2011. Apart from that, Black is a businesswoman and this may also have contributed immensely towards her total net worth. She has also been very active on social media. She spent a great deal of time with her wife Maria and has for the most part done what she can to stay relevant and enjoy a decent life. She appeared to try her hand at becoming an influencer when she was invited to share her fall must-haves in a 2014 guest post on crazy beautiful makeup. While she had previously been interviewed by the site, this was her first crack at talking solely about her beauty routine and go-to products rather than about herself. On the other side, Olivia never hides her love for marijuana, so in 2019, she began showing off more than just smoking habits as she started promoting her favorite hemp products. In April 2019, she uploaded a snap showing just her hand holding up a tube of hemp seed hand and body lotion with the caption, impromptu road trip to LA, but I can't forget my hemp seed body care from Shop Cupids. Then, the following month, she shared a photo of herself holding another product from the same collection, hemp seed massage oil, in front of her partner's nude back. And while none of the black snaps has been marked as ads or sponsored content, they sure do look like typical promo shots. Thank you for checking this video out and don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on and comment down below that you subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Once again thank you for watching and see you next time.